The bilateral ceasefire with the Colombian government, called off by President Gustavo Petro after the murder of four minors from Bogota and Nantobar, with the details. The so-called dissidents of the FARC Joint Chiefs of Staff announced in a communique their request to the Colombian government to resume the bilateral ceasefire at the national level, called on May 23rd in the departments of Caqueta, Guaviare, Putumayo and Meta. After the murder of four minors from the indigenous communities of Putumayo, where members of this armed group are believed to be involved. In Colombia, we have laws to provide special protection to native populations on the brink of extinction. FARC dissidents must understand that one thing is our government's commitment to making every effort for peace, as we do here in Congress every day, and something else is not having clear boundaries. Children belong with their parents, not in the war. The dissidents ensure that this process will work as long as this situation is re-established because they understand that war brings permanent consequences for the parties in conflict and preventing it undoubtedly brings peace of mind for the communities. But what do the members of the indigenous communities in Colombia, whose territories have been the hardest hit by the war and the conflict? There are countless deaths day after day. We have suffered the murder of three people eight days ago throughout the entire safeguard by the dissidents and what everyone aspired to is to live quietly and in peace. So for us it is a great joy that the dissidents have expressed this, that they want to make a bilateral ceasefire and it is the most convenient thing for the country because we support this government thinking about the peace that can be achieved. Recently, the prosecutor office announced that it was lifting arrest warrant for 19 members of this armed group to move forward in talks with the Colombian government and establish a formal negotiating table. Meanwhile, representatives of the indigenous communities in Congress demanded commitment and responsibility from the dissidents. I cannot say it is a bad thing. Peace is always welcome. And that the far dissident has sent this communique, we hope it is real. We hope for the will because the dissidents cannot continue on one hand pretending to respect the will shown by President Petro and then on the other continue killing people. So who are they agreeing with? And I have drawn attention to this and I have been critical in this scenario. To de-escalate the conflict in the territories is an urgent matter. The indigenous communities believe that it must go hand in hand with humanitarian aid. Meanwhile, the armed groups say that its delegates are ready to deploy and support the verification process and ask the government not to close off the possibilities of dialogue and to accept the truth proposal. Let's take a short break, but remember.